Hello, YouTubes. What is up? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Strem, and we are here yet again with an IBA team builder. This is for week seven uh, versus the Chicago Dragapults and our good buddy Q, the Costa Rican. Uh, Q joined in season 1.5. Um, he is three and three so far. We are five and one, but without further ado, let's just kind of dive into the stats of the league and then I'll show you the team we're bringing to week seven. Um, here we go. Halifax Himmelchan, baby. First overall, first place in the league. Somehow, uh, we have the exact same differential as the Vancouver Corviknights. However, uh, we won the head to head matchup and we have more kills by one, um, than he does. So yeah, that, that's how it works out, I guess. So Good to be in first place. Puts us in a really good position going forward. Uh, if we check out the Chicago Dragapults, they're in sixth place currently. Differential of plus one. Um, and at three and three. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's what we're working with here. Uh, when we go over to check the kill leaderboard, we have Gengar in first place with 14 kills. Three deaths with a differential of plus 11. Uh, he's now two kills ahead of second place Cinderace and three kills ahead of Rillaboom. If we drop all the way down here, we see Lycanroc Dusko uh, with eight kills and only three deaths for a differential of plus five. He didn't have the best week um, in week six, but he did get a kill, so that keeps him there. Reminder, the top eight teams make the playoffs. We are in great position, obviously, now. There are ten matches total. We're through six already, um, so we have seven, eight, nine, and ten to go. Four more matches to go, and then we're hitting up the playoffs. Um, let's check out who we're dealing with here. So the Chicago Dragapults. Uh, cue the Costa Rican. Um, he has Gigantamax Inteleon. Kyrum, which is scary, Talonflame, Runerigus, Bronzong, Type Null, Raichu, Urshifu, the Single Strike, Whimsicott, Skuntank, and Aselgore. Um, so a pretty scary team. His kill leader is Kyrum. Uh, the Urshifu hasn't showed out all that much so far, but it does have two kills, and Talonflame with five kills. Um, lots, lots, to, uh, lots to think about here. So... Things I'm scared of, obviously the Inteleon, very fast, special attacker, scary Gigantamax. Um, Kyrum is Dragon and Ice type, very unique typing, sort of fast, about 95 base speed, but an extremely strong special and physical attacker, depends how he wants to run it. Uh, we have Talonflame, very, very, very fast, uh, obviously priority flying type moves with Gale Wings if it's full health. Um, not too worried about that though. Lycanroc kind of is a hard counter to Talonflame, so that feels good. Uh, Runerigus, our boy from Season 1. Very physically defensive. Bronzong, also a good tank. Type Null is very tanky. Uh, Raichu is pretty quick and a decent special attacker. Urshifu, obviously very intense physical attacker. Whimsicott can be annoying with the prankster abilities. Guntank can be pretty bulky and do some shenanigans. And then a Selgore, um, obviously one of the fastest Pokemon out there. A great lead, can do some weird uh, things with, you know, I forget what they call it, uh, Final Gambit, that move. Anyway, that's what we're dealing with. Let's move over to the Halifax Himonchan here. And let's talk about our team. Gengar, Chansey, Tangrowth, Lycanroc, Dusk, Obstagoon, Claydol, Flareon, Magnezone, Primarina, Scyther, and Sock. You guys know them by now. There hasn't been any trades or any uh, free agent acquisitions from us. We don't feel like we need it, obviously, at 5-1. and one. Um, Lycanroc, 8 kills. Gengar, 14 kills. And then kind of split around with everybody else. Um, but without further ado, I guess let's get into the team we're building versus Q. Um... First up, we're bringing Primarina again uh, with the Leftovers, uh, Moonblast, Scald, Energy Ball, and Calm Mind. This is Babby. Uh, she's pretty good against his team. We're running max HP with 200 EVs in defense, 52 EVs in special defense, and a Calm Nature to boost our special tankiness. Uh, this is great against, it allows us to live multiple hits from the, uh, from the Urshifu. Which is really nice. It is also a great Inteleon counter for when he's Gigantamax. He doesn't get any grass coverage Inteleon. So we can kind of go in, just energy ball him, uh, or even Calm Mind set up if we want. So we're in a really good place. Uh, the Fairy is good against Kyrum as well. 
So, you know, it's weak against things like Raichu and other things, but it gives us a good hit against Runarigus um, and Talonflame too. So we uh, feel pretty good about Primarina this week. It's kind of an odd EV spread, but it allows us to live... Um, oh, sorry, that's that should be 56 EVs in Special Defense. Yeah. It kind of allows us to live uh, both physical and special attacks from what we need to counter. Uh, next up, we are bringing Wiz, the shiny Scyther with the heavy duty boots. He's our defogger this week. I was going back and forth on whether we needed Wiz or not. Uh, I originally had Obstagoon in here as a stronger physical attacker, more of an offensive threat. But then when I realized when you have like a Selgore, um, it can be very difficult. He can set a lot of hazards like spikes. Runarigus can set rocks. Bronzong can set rocks. Maybe even Type Null can. Um, so there's just a lot of things. We really needed a defogger and Scyther was really the only viable option for us here. Um, he also gives us a fast U-turn. We're running max speed, max attack, Jolly with 4 and HP. Uh, you know, dual wing beat still does really, really good damage against Zero Shifu uh, and the Whimsicott. We're running knockoff for those Eviolite users and, of course, a fast defog, um, which we kind of need. So it does give us a faster pivot and, and super effective against some mons for sure. He's bad against Kyrim. He's bad against Talonflame. Flame. Uh, but, but he does give us a knockoff for, like, Bronze on Rune Origus type null. So uh, it is what it is. We're kind of trading things off there. Next up, we're bringing Joy again. She didn't come the last few weeks. Uh, however, you know, we feel really good about Joy, obviously, drafting her in the first round. So she's making an appearance again. We're running max defense, max special attack, or special defense, and uh, forward HP with a bold nature. Um, we're running stealth rocks, soft boiled, seismic toss, and teleport with natural cure and holding the Eevee light. Um, she's our rock setter. She's a great counter to final gambit, Excel Gore. Um, as she's got a ton of HP, so she can tank a final gambit and still get our rocks up and soft boil it off. And she gives us that slow pivot and seismic tanit, seismic toss to break focus sash and just do some reliable damage on things. Um, we know how to use Chansey by this point, so you know she can tank the Inteleon super super well. If it's a special Chiron, she can tank that. Uh, Raichu, she can tank. Just Whimsicott. She's so good. So good this week uh, for any special attacker. So very pumped to have Joy back. We're also bringing Jesse yet again. Feels like we're always bringing Jesse. Uh, we're actually bringing an Assault Vest Jesse this week. Uh, the Assault Vest, it raises the holder special defense by 1.5 times. So we are max Fizz Death in our EVs. Max HP with a relaxed nature. We have four EVs in special defense, but we are running that AV. Um... Partly just because I wanted to run all attacking moves anyway. So four attacks. Uh, knockoff, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, and Giga Drain. Again, the knockoff is for like the Type Null, the Bronzong, the Runarigus, etc. Um, Earthquake for that Raichu. I feel like that'll be a surprise. Uh, Giga Drain for the Runarigus. Um, and yeah, just, just a great physical defensive mod for Urshifu. We can come into Urshifu things and he doesn't do 50% to us. So we can just Giga Drain that health back. Uh, or regenerator the health back, do whatever we want to do, and and it's a really good Urshifu counter. Um, and with the Assault Fest, we don't take any damage from Raichu. Even like a Focus Blast, crazy, uh, like Life Orb, Respects, Focus Blast, with the Assault Fest, it does no damage. If the Inteleon, for some reason, isn't running Ice Beam, uh, we don't take much damage from a Max Hailstorm, which is really nice, or uh, any Max move other than Hailstorm. Which is really nice. So it kind of just made sense to run the AB this week. And try to heal some health back with Giga Drain as opposed to Leftovers. Uh, we're also bringing Carco, our Lycanroc Dusk with the Life Orb, Tough Claws ability. We're running Max Speed, Max Attack, Adamant with foreign Defense this week. Uh, Excel Rock, Close Combat, Play Rough, and Sucker Punch. This is the same set we ran against, um, against Tornado, SV Tornado. So, obviously, play rough for the Urshifu, and that's pretty much it. Talonflame gets bodied by an Excel Rock, uh, and obviously, it's priority. So, he can't really hit us with any priority flying moves that hard. Like, even a Brave Bird, we withstand. So, I feel pretty great about that. Um, Excel Gore gets bodied by Excel Rock. So, there's a lot of, a lot of cool things happening. Um, close combat for the Type Null. 
And yeah, it just hits a lot of things hard. So you guys know what Lycan Rock does at this point. It's a similar set to what we always run, but it's great. Uh, we also have multiple priority. The Sucker Punch is really good against the Bronzong and the Runarigus um, if they want to attack us. So there you have it. And last but not least, we are bringing our MVP and Captain IMAC, the Gengar, the Gigantamax Gengar, uh, with the Colberberry again. This allows us to live um, uh, Darkest Lariat from Urshifu while we're Gigantamaxed. So in case it is Choice Scarf, we outspeed it as long as it's not Choice Scarfed, but uh, we can live a hit no matter what with the Colberberry. Uh, it only does like 80% or something like that, and then we can counter it with Dazzling Gleam or the Max Fairy Move. We are max speed, max special, max special attack with 4 in HP, and we are timid. Um, the timid nature is to speed tie a max speed Raichu. They are both 110 speed. Um, I felt like we didn't need that as much with uh, Lycan Rock. That's why we're running Adamant, because the Excel Rock is priority, and it does so much damage as is. Um, so, so I decided to have it with Gengar. Uh, we're running Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast. Uh, Pretty standard for us at this point. The Dazzling Gleam is for the Urshifu and the Kyrum. The Focus Blast is for the Type Null. Uh, the Shadow Ball and the Sludge Wave hit kind of uh, uh, many things on his team. The good thing is he doesn't have a Ghost Resist. Um, so that's really nice for us. We can just kind of spam that Ghost move. and Or he has Ghost Resist, sorry. He doesn't have Ghost Immunity except for Type Null. Um, so if we deal with Type Null, we can just kind of spam that Shadow Ball, which is really nice. Uh, and yeah, that's our squad. I feel pretty, pretty good about this. Uh, a lot of use for everybody. Like I said, the one spot I wasn't really sure about was Wiz. Um, it is what it is. I wish we kind of had more damage there, but I'll take it for the removal of hazards. I feel like he has a lot of hazard options on his team, like I said, so we want to make sure we can get around that. Uh... And there's not much else to say, man. I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped. We're hoping to get the one seed in the playoffs. If we do get the one seed in the playoffs, we end up against the eighth ranked team. And vice versa. If we get second, we end up against the seventh place team. So that's really nice. Uh, and we're doing so great. I want to thank you guys for all the support this league and this season has been getting. We're going to keep crushing it. We're going to keep doing well. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new because I'm going to be having a ton of Draft League content here on the channel. I love you guys very much. Peace.